Hi guys, John here. Today I'm going to be doing a review um, on the two different models of La Sportiva Karakoram tramping boots. So the first model, these are my boots. Um, this is just the plain Karakorams. Um, I've been wearing them for about two years now and I absolutely love them. Um, these are the Karakoram Evo GTX. Um, so they're a bit fancier and they've got a few more features than these ones. So these are my dad's boots. Um, he's been wearing them for about five or six years. Um, and he really enjoys wearing them. For a start off, I'll tell you some of the differences between these boots. So the first one is that the plain Karakorams have got a bigger sole um, than the Evo GTX. Now that's got, um, having a smaller sole has obviously got some merit to it. The smaller sole um, allows you to put crampons onto it, um, so if you're up in the snow and ice, um, you can attach crampons to the bottom, which you can't do with these ones. Um, but also in the bush, which is what a lot of our hunting is, um, they've got us obviously got a smaller footprint, so you're not as likely to stand on sticks, um, not going to make as much noise. So both pairs of these boots here don't have a flat bottom on the sole, um, which is a very good thing. So that means, um, like in the bush or whatever, when you're trying to be quiet, you don't want to be stomping your feet on the ground, making a lot of noise. Um, so these boots, if you step on your heel first, which is what you're sort of supposed to do, and um, what's the easiest way to stay quiet, you step on your heel, and then just rock your boot forward, you see that's got quite a lot of movement there, while it's still on the sole. So then you just rock your boot forward and over um, into your next step, and it's very quiet and quite effective. With tramping boots, you need a very small amount of movement. Um, these boots, both pairs of these boots have got a good amount of movement um, in the toe, so it's still comfortable, but it's not um, not too much movement that it's not offering any protection. I've also got this gusset here, just above your foot. Um, now that's very comfortable, but it's still meaning that you've got enough protection um, that you're not going to roll your ankle too easily or break it. Um, it's also got a lot of padding above your um, ankle which is where a lot of boots um, wear you out. Um, you get blisters um, and just dig into the front of your shins in there. It's not a very nice feeling having boots digging into the front of your shins, um, which these boots have got enough, um, enough padding and protection um, that that's not going to happen. Once you get out into that alpine sort of tops um, and into screen that, you need a good rubber rand around the top of your boot here, or around the bottom of your boot, sorry, um, just above your sole. Um, to protect the leather from scree. Um, so you see these boots have got enough protection um, that it's not going to wreck your boots. And they've got better on this side, so on the inside. Um, but then these boots have got a very big rubber rand um, to help protect the leather from scree and rocks. So as you might have seen in video number one, um, I was with my uncle, we were out chamois hunting. Um, he was wearing his pair of these boots, the Evo GTX, and I was wearing these ones. Um, and that's when you need that rubber rand, um, when you're in that high scree in rock country. When you're doing this sort of trip um, on rock like this, it's all very loose. You stand on it, a little moose. Um, so it's very important to have decent footwear to wear, um, just pr to protect your ankles. So both Danny and I are wearing La Sportiva Karakorums. Um, so he's got the model up from mine. And they're Gore-Tex Gore coated his ones. And they've got a crampon sole. Um, my ones are just a plain boot. They do the job ridiculously well. And very pleased with how they're performing. With tramping boots, you also need grip on the side of your boots um, for standing on the edge of rocks so that once again um, in previous hunting trips up in the tops when you're climbing down sort of a steep face um, of rock you need to be able to grip on with the side of your boot um, so like right on the edge you need to be able to grip right with the edge um, to stop you from slipping down so both pairs of these boots have got enough protection right out to the side um, that still easily grip um, onto the side of rocks The 
The last feature that I'm going to talk to you about these boots is the lace locking system. And so this allows you to have the bottom of your boots tight um, and the top a little bit looser so you've got the tight at the bottom for good protection um, but you can have it loose at the top so it's not digging into your front of your shins again um, which is where this padding around the top there comes in handy. Um, I've always been a little bit dubious about this little piece of material in here that bit there um, that the laces go through um, because of it just being a piece of material um, and, and being in quite a high wear spot um, with your laces being pulled through it um, every time you put them on but as you can see there with my dad's boots that have been that he's been wearing for about five or six years um, that little piece of material is still in very good condition um, so they're obviously, it's obviously quite a good um, high quality piece of material um, that's not going to blow out um, too quickly which you really don't want um, on tramping boots you want them lasting as long as possible because they're not the cheapest of things right, I thought I'd better talk about um, the price of these boots so the plain model I think they're about 600 bucks um, and the Evo GTX I think they're about 750 so I have to clarify that um, just to make sure but for that extra 150 bucks or whatever it is um, you are getting a better boot with these Evo GTX obviously with the crampon sole um, meaning you can put crampons on for up in the snow and ice. Um, obviously that's got a smaller footprint then as well um, for in the bush like I was explaining earlier. Um, and obviously that rubber rand is obviously bigger on these boots. Um, so these are more designed for up in the alpine tops um, a little bit more than these ones. Um, and you obviously have to pay slightly more to get these um, but it would definitely be worth it. Right, so I'm looking forward to doing some more field testing of these boots um, during the raw, which is coming up. Should, it technically starts um, about a week and a half, um, which I can't wait. The stags are already started moaning down here, um, so I'm looking forward to getting out there and seeing if we can knock a big stag over. Hey, get him. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. Good, Jimmy. With a love song that he made, playing the street light. Well, I think that's got good horns. John just shot the shimmy. Juliet says, Hey, it's Romeo. He nearly gave me a heart attack. He's underneath the window, just singing. I'm a boyfriend's boy. You shouldn't come around here singing up at people like that. Anyway, what you gonna do about it?